let's see continue about the great scientist patriotic person the great personality jc bose in this chapter 2 we are going to about his childhood jagdish chandra bose was born at maman singh and is bengal no in bangladesh on 30th number 1858 just a year after the india first war of independence what was fought his invention was also the first step towards independence in science in india in fact he is the first modern scientist of india his father bhagwan chandra bose was a religious and enterprising officer his deeds of courage and valor were widely known in the region he often fought with the poets once he even single handedly caught a echo he was also keen to improve the living condition of rural people he always thought of new schemes for their benefits that this was brought up in an environment of courage commitment and love for his country and country unlike the children of their officers yes both was especially sent to a local parachala it means school in fardapo now in bangladesh his father was keen that his son should have a first hand idea both his countrymen their life dreams and aspiration and a dull follower of the brahmo samaj he wanted his son to be free from class or caste prejudices in the school young jardis classmates were the children of the local form laborers farmers fishermen and petty shopkeepers one of them was even the son of his own domestic servant in their company he played rome and dine and he learned a very important lesson the love for equality justice fair play and brotherhood inspired by the stories both field tree mountains and rivers there is become a nature lover and many of his later writing bio testimony to this both fathers also encouraged him to become a scholar and not an officer like himself he believed it was better to conquer the self than to lord other over others often he would take his young son for evening strolls in the night neighboring jungle and acquaint him with nature and universe around he would provoke the young boys to ask a question on occasions when he himself could not answer it he would suggest the boy that he should find out the answer himself when he grew up it was these years spent studying nature and learning to be curious about the animals that would lead jagdish chandra bose to the path of a scholar and scientist it also developed the adventures spread that would present the world with a new vision to this wonderful invention and discoveries
when Bo's father was transferred to Burdwan of West Bengal in 1869, Jagdish was sent to St. Xavier's School in Kolkata. He was admitted to the school's hostel where he had a first taste of Arabian independence. Being a religion, he soon became the butt of jokes by his classmates who were Chittibur, European and Anglo-Indian, they traced him, cracked jokes at his expense and tried to overrule him. But when on the very first day, young Bo single hand fought and defeated the champion boxer of the class, everybody behind respect him. Strength wins respect and he had successful passed the first test of independence and courage. Through that, his life was shown such fighting qualities in the face of heavy odds. At Gurwar, where Bo's father became assistant commissioner, he set up a technical training school in the compound of his own bungalow. He was keen that the local rural youth should acquire technical skills and use them in setting up industries and business. His patriotic journal knew no bond. He even spent money from his own packet to run the school. The school had a mason shop and a fun tree. He, young boys, oddly loving, had a first hand exposure to machine and technician. During vacation, when he would visit Bordon, he would attend the school and learn the basic skill of carpentry, grinding, welding, molding, etc. The skill came in handy later in designing the building sensitive instrument that made him famous across the world. At the age of 16, both joined St. Xavier College, Kolkata for graduate students studies. Here, his interest in physics was awakened by Father Lofton, a Christian missionary and astronomer, who always used novel methods of teaching science through experiment and questions. Bose was keen to become a physician in those pre-independence days when the British were ruling India. On had to go to England to study medicine, it was not likely to be easy for those as in meanwhile his father had lost or fortune in his enterprise for old people and had no money left to send him abroad for higher studies. When no other sources of money came inside. Bose's mother showed out her own jewelry and sent him to England in 1880 to study medicine. However, he could not continue his studies as a whole. A full hour in the description room visited affected his health. Bose had no option but to return India, but then he decided to take up physics since it did not recur. In Bodhi's desire, physics had always fascinated him. In 1881, he therefore shifted to science, joined the Christian College, Cambridge, was the Natural Science, Cambridge University. 1884, he went B.Sc. degree from London University. Among his teachers were renowned scientists like Lord Reynolds, Nicholas Foster, Francis Johnson, and Sidney Whitney. When Bose returned, in 1885, he joined the Central Service of Education in the British Empire. He was appointed as a professor of physics in prestigious presidency college, Kolkata. He was the first Indian to be appointed to this post. In this 19th century, the British rulers treated Indians in the inferior race with no inclination for science and experimentation. So, naturally, even the most qualified Indian was not considered good enough to teach a difficult subject like physics. When Bose was appointed as a professor of physics in Presidency College, it rise I rose everywhere in the British circles. Bose was offered a salary at two 
third in the scale of British professors and he was given half of among because his post was temporary. The injustice, reckless discrimination angered those he had been brought up to respect equality, justice and brotherhood he could not tolerate. These decided to lodge a protest. He therefore he did not draw the salary although he continued to teach his students with great enthusiasm and interest. Those were trying days for the entire boss family he had while also got Maria Ambla. His father too had no means to help the young scientists. It became very difficult to manage even basic household expenditures. But those who supported him fully in his fight against radical discrimination and injustice, he urged him to follow in the footsteps of Karna, one of the Mahabharata heroes, who always suffered defeats despite talent, abilities and sacrifice. He thought based that success is always small and failure is great. In fact, he urged him to try his mind in such a way as to forget the difference between success and failure. His teachers' teachings were a source of inspiration for both his distributor in his life and came in during his years of Adios scientific results once Bose also said it has been a success in my life was able to an unsakeable foundation of failure. For the next three years Bose continued to reach teach at college without salary. He was a popular teacher at students from his lectures interested and attended a large number. He also contacted results in a small twenty four square foot room allotted to him in the college. Eventually, the British authorities could not keep his eyes closed to those excellent skills of teaching. He was given the school salary right from the day he joined the college. It was a big victory for Bozi. He gave his courage and faith in his own fighting abilities, or work on commitment. He also learned that the best way to fight the British was to face this squarely with indomitable wealth.